Are you a Fuji X-T3 owner considering upgrading to the Fuji X-T4? I was, and I did, and I have a lot to tell you about this camera. Hi, my name is George Kushler, owner of GK Photography here in New Orleans, and I have been a proud owner of the Fuji X-T3 for the past year and a half. Um, before that, I was a 24 plus year veteran of using Canon cameras. I love my Canon cameras. Um, at the time when I was looking for upgrades, features, lighter, mirrorless, I did a lot of research. And one of the big reasons why I originally got the X-T3 was for its usability, how it was focusing, how it does the eyes, which is nice, but most importantly, the size. And, and with the Fringer adapter, I was able to put my Canon lenses on my Fuji, and they work. Very impressive. So I did recently get the X-T4 and I made my little list here. So this is gonna be a little conversation between me and you because I am a professional full-time working photographer for the last 26 years, self-employed. And the Fuji system is the only camera I have used as my main for the last close to two years now, come this May, I believe. Um, should you upgrade? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, let me explain why. First of all, you have the IBIS, the in-body image stabilization. This works for two aspects, hand-holding for your video and hand-holding for your stills. Now, some of your lenses already have image stabilization on them. That's great. But the in-the-body it's different. It's using its, its computer chip, its compressor, it's using that software. Um, I photographed a couple of jobs and I was noticing I was able to hand hold a low light shot up to two stops slower than I usually could. Usually. That's impressive. So that alone, the IBIS is worth it. Um, the video hand-holding, it really does make a difference. Um, if you're looking for something to replace your gimbal, no, I don't think any of these cameras handheld, even with the IBIS is gonna replace an awesome gimbal. Uh, that being said, I need to talk about the one thing that was the most aggravating to get used to, but it's not a deal breaker at all. It's the flip out screen. Oh my word. When I, I threw myself to the wolves when this camera came in, because I sold my X-T3 to help me purchase the X-T4 and I had jobs. So I had to go outside and start photographing families and kids and running around with them. And that little flip out screen internally was driving me nuts. It was so hard. Your eyes are just used to looking right down to the camera, and it is what it is with the X-T3, okay? The flip-out screen, your positioning is different. The flip-out screen, bloop. Now this is your screen, so you're looking a little bit over here, and your camera's here. It's a little odd. Your vertical shots are a little different. However, they're way better at the same time. The angles that I can do with this screen lets me shoot more angles and at levels I wasn't able to before and I did a lot with the X-T3. Oh dear Lord, let me tell you something. 
These batteries are the same as my Canon batteries I was used to. I had a Canon um, 5D Mark III, and you know, those size batteries, they lasted all day without a problem. Um, these guys are the exact same thing. They last. I could probably work an entire wedding on just one battery, um, which brings me to the battery grip with the X-T4. Because these batteries are bigger, the grip is a little wider. So that kind of threw me off a pinch. Um, I knew it was going to be a little heavier, but it's a little more awkward. I was kind of going a baby step backwards into the um, cumberness zone, you know, a little bit more of a some more mass, some more body to hold on to. But like anything else, you get used to it very fast. It's not that much heavier, but you just notice these things when you're using your camera every single day. Somebody gives you their Sony and you're like, what? You know, or a Nikon, and you're like, I don't know what to do. Um, my Fuji camera was kind of the same. It's kind of like, well, this is a little awkward. But let me tell you something. Three batteries, one in the body and two in here. I've been shooting jobs all week long, and I usually charge them on the weekend. Wow. So there's your battery life. So you're probably asking yourself, okay, well, that's, that's great. What about the image quality? The image quality is the same as far as the type chip that is on there, um, the mirrorless capabilities as far as me being able to shoot mechanical shutter or electronic shutter. I love that. I use my electronic shutter more than ever before. Um, the only time I really need my mechanical shutter on is when I have a flash on top of the camera. For some reason, that mechanical shutter is programmed to also trip the flash, that hot shoe on the top of your camera. The electronic shutter will not do that. Um, so when they fix that, dear Lord, I wouldn't even need a mechanical shutter. Um, so performance-wise, yes, this thing is incredible. It outperforms its usability of the X-T3, and I loved my X-T3. Um, but is this a valuable upgrade? Is it worth it? Should you even bother? If you are a working photographer, you'll notice the differences. If you're not, I say stick with the X-T3. I am constantly running around and moving on weddings, on events, on chasing kids outside, on like you name it. I'm using this camera. I am using all the aspects of what this thing has to offer. The IBIS, I can tell a difference. As far as the quality of the image, it's the same. It's that same beautiful Fuji file. And I love the Fuji files for how they, they look. Um, something that I recently have done is open a GK storefront for my Capture One presets. Because since I'm always working jobs, I'm developing my RAWs according to real world scenarios. So when I'm in the church, with that goldish ambient light in the background when they're on the altar and I have my flash, what are those tweaks that I did to help me provide my clients beautiful images? I made that a preset. When I'm outside at the end of the day and the sun is nice and low and you want that sun, you know, really low in the background, you want to get all that golden hour goodness, that, you know, beautiful golden sun, more of that in your image, but you also want some crisp contrast, there's a preset for that. Um, so I just opened my gkstorefront.com. Feel free to go there. You can buy individual presets or you can get the collection of all the color presets for only $25. So look, thanks for being here. Join us on the Facebook group page. It's where our conversations continue. We can share images and talk a lot more. So join us over there. I hope you stay focused on your dreams. We have a lot to do this year. And uh, I'm very proud to say I have a lot lined up to show you guys and girls. Um, there's real world usability, workability workflows that I'm doing every day. And I'm bundling it all up to show you and share with you and educate you and motivate you. And I just want to stay focused with you at the same time. All right, you guys. I gotta go, I gotta, yeah, I'm GK, peace.